evil. Good. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. brought something for you. I could really use this. Nothing else. I'll see you later, friend. Until next time. Have you got a contract for me? Another day, another series of tasks that require a keen eye and a talent for violence. The target is a talent in the business of murder. I suspect you are even better. The sooner you come back, the better the reward. I'm kidding. The reward will be the same. I'm off. You well, friend. Go with your gods. Show me what lies ahead. I should be cautious around here.
faith favor you, Raven Bearer. This land bears steep. <laughs> Easy now. Something's not right. <coughs> Survey the area soon. Your time in Midgard is over now.
Stretch your wings sooner. Shall we be deemed worthy? May we meet again at Ragnarok.
Good day, good day. Have you got a contract for me? My agents are not meant to undertake these tasks, but... There will be contracts when the mood strikes you. What do you have today? Hello. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunner about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunner is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunner away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunner has faith in you, I do too. I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. May I see your stores? You done? I must take my leave. So long. So long.
var. What have you got for? Can't have too many. This was a smart purchase. You've made the right choice with this one. Nothing else? I must be up. Always a pleasure, Eivor. I would like to see... Eager to find a new home for these. Anything you find, bring it to me. Is that everything? I have... Don't...
You have a second? Yeah, sure. What's on your mind? How long ago did this precursor race die out? Near as we can tell, about 75,000 years ago. Hard to pinpoint an exact date. I can't tell if it was a Tuesday. That's a long time. So why won't they leave us the hell alone? Good question. I think a blinding arrogance coupled with a crippling fear of extinction would drive a lot of people to desperate measures. They knew their human creations would survive the coming catastrophe. So a few of them devised ways to carry their imprint forward, hoping that, well, we might be able to resurrect them at some point in the future. Would you resurrect one if you could? Well, we tried once before. Didn't work out. Right. Remind me when this is over to give you access to our files from 2012. Ho oh, oh. ho, it's big picture stuff. It's definitely Aletheia and those anomalies. I can't make out that other voice. I had a listen. Feels like we're hearing conversations from the Isu era. That's unheard of. You saw simulations of that era, didn't you? I did, but it's hard to know what was real and what was invented. There was Isu tech mixed with Greek architecture. It felt crafted for a purpose, like Aletheia was testing me. I'd love to see the playbacks of those simulations. Can you get them? Not likely. I'd have to talk with my old team, and... Well, that was a hard time. Right. If you're worried about losing power, don't be. We have enough fuel to power the generator for three weeks.
强。Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there.
Museum is so Say what? So Keep your eyes open. Hey! Using the bushes, we all are. We keep our wits about us. Condem nabitur inconvenientes calciamenta sunt mihi. Pono autem ut deos vult hoc esse, heic patiar in nominis sui gloriam. The Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. God 
Dear Miltia, this gold. Welcome. Aid me. Be my eyes. My eyes see. Let's show the other. You beat me half of your last for me, son. The thing is, his friend. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! Over here! Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. 
I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anun. Couldn't help Drew's me. Breaks with Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass the killer. That they were gal cleese down. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> And the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevder. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdor, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. 
Oh, he must give away girl and land in this misty season. But Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. A festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood. Yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another Saint Kenhelm, your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? I... Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. 
I ask only this. We should return to Glowerchester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil is spread down in creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glowerchester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, You'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. 
Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, that's Hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering. But even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. That house was... Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Louis. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mari Lewid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then. Sweets for the Mari Lewid. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Ready to rhyme with me. Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and a walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is. Ah, oh, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. I look vagabantor in certi sunt dies et noctes, in terra quorum domino quia multis eos. Get it! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? My cakes. Go, my eyes. <laughs> A child. Cast about this land, my friend. I busy was learning. I said, Clothiers, take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smear. Oh, damn deserter. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. Ugh. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and tall. God damn you! <laughs> 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 It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowichus? They know how to have fun.
want to die! Four spears! My leg! Gunner! children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Maldron's a compass to patch this land. Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I give me strength. My mom Modren is known I'm a humor towish Gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Eivor. Make Mary and try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modren. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Come on, let's go. Yeah. 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 It's London. What's what do I do? With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Alone with your thoughts at last. Eivor! <laughs> Perhaps. Every moment is sweeter when you are the Harvest King. All this bounty. Soon, I will join it. But eat, drink! Enjoy all that Gloucester's lush woods offer. Alone with your thoughts... Eivor! <laughs> Perhaps. Every moment is sweeter when you are the Harvest But eat, drink!
I thought the church condemned this celebration. <laughs> I hate the church. Name's Gwarim, and I turned to God just three years back. You look like a man with a past. What were you before you took up the cloth? Me? A, a, a grain farmer. Had to take up the sword a few times to protect my crops. What brought you to God? You know you need to change after the third night you wake up britchless in pig shat, with no idea how you got there. Do you like Gloucester? Ah, tis a beauteous place. Shame they're losing their elderman. Enjoy the festival, Quillam. Ah, perhaps a drink later. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. Gwilym, the warrior monk. Now we can match wills with a flagon in hand. <laughs> ale is known to blunt even the sharpest of plates, Eivor. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the elder men I've met unburdened, what is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunan. Joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. Where 
What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging oceans, no effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. They have all speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ours. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah! The greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union! To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Proves I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are. Right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. <laughs> it's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um, well, come on in. Tefter! Tefter!
Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. The effects of that draft still cling. Tevder! Are you here? Hefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood could be Tefter's. If he was the heavy thing being dragged. This god's true. Mighty footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Open this door. Come out of there. Murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards and to disable Tim. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything, except Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the contents. She is. What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same. Conan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowachester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer!
Pity a fairy be that foreign shaman. What hell would me do get is there and then? I need your eyes, my friend. Modron, up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood but no body. We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Sheila, his ghost will haunt us. There's no oh, ghost. Danes don't have souls. This man is a Norse warrior, and his body deserves respect. Where is his axe? He cannot go to Valhalla without it. Hurry, ran off with it. Don't hurt us. We didn't mean anything. Please. I will not harm you. I just want to get this man's axe returned. Where has this boy gone? Over that way. He was playing with it, slaying monsters. You there, boy. Give me the axe before you hurt yourself. I am no mere boy. I am Hurry, Slayer of Monsters. You'll have to win it from me in single combat. A Monster Slayer? Well, as a fellow warrior, I must trade for the axe in a warrior's charm. Thick arms of Agir and thighs of Thor. Strength, honesty and wit crave all wise warriors. I can feel this Norse magic running from my fingers to my toes. I bet I can beat you in a race back to that body. <laughs> Look, there's a spider crawling around his eye. I think. Though we know not your name, or your clan, you are a warrior of good stock. Odin welcomes you to his table in Valhalla. Amen. And one day, us warriors will join you, fighting monsters in eternal battle. Have a look, Sunan.
That must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Spirit, you have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here. The ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Halewin said that the Wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. There be cacophony! One more! One more! They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind! I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This dagger is placed upside down.
hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. This symbol is one I've seen, carved into shields and headstones. Speak to me, O oh wind! Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The skull soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Glowachester, in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Good Ladrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby.
Firewood from firewood burns. Flame kindles flame. And from man goes wisdom to man. And folly to folly. Welcome, fair traveler, curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before. Welcome, fair traveler, curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before. I can see Modron ahead. Welcome, fair traveler, curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before.
is a force here. Invisible. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin. Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Ludrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest in all Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. He's targeted. There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sword. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Ludron, the Thieves' Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Survey the area soon. <laughs>
Tefter's voice, so he lives. Thank you. 
dice shop. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sells swords, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. You look like a man who lies to save his own skin. I look like a man up to his neck in sheep shit. Please, I'm telling the truth. Tell it to your god. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell her. Tell her we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing t Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up. Wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah. Move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Kafter will need to see a healer. This lot have been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my heart. death. Thank you. I don't understand. He's been like... I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. not to draw attention here. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out. But he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. 
You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunon. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I'm a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Teftir. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end.
Something is wrong. Foul. 
past. By Odin, the Neathing curse is lifted. spoke with him again. He said that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him tears me one direction, and the Nephilim went elsewhere. Why have these voices spoken to me? The Gospels sing within me, and yet I sense conflict. I sense disagreement among the angels. It saddens me greatly. I will one day weigh my soul, attempt spoke with him again. He said that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him tears me one direction, and the Nephilim went elsewhere. Why hath these voices spoken to me? The Gospels sing within me, and yet I sense conflict. I sense disagreement among the angels. It saddens me greatly. I will one day weigh my soul, attempt penance, attempt to repent for the missteps in my life. Yet here, all shineth brightest, for he let me see. that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him tears me one direction, and the Nephilim point elsewhere. Why hath these voices spoken to me? The Gospels sing within me, and yet I sense conflict. I sense disagreement among the angels. It saddens me greatly. I will one day weigh my soul, attempt penance, attempt to repent for the missteps in my life. Yet here, all shineth brightest, for he let me see.
strange energy here. No, no, use that stone, Eivor. Use the large one, there. Do you like the snow, Sigurd? I suppose. I... I accept it. I love it. I wish it could gather under my skin. Surround my bones and cloak me in silence. Just the way it quiets the land. Snow like arrows? The scald in you speaks. I admit it does calm me down some. If everyone sat and watched the soft, chunky snowfall and said nothing, nothing at all, we would all be happier. Snow makes for a poor plowing bed. That's what I know.
won't be gentle if they spot me. I must find Kunan before I'm spotted. The Longhouse is a good place to start. Sniga on the open atinemuth. Oh, starlight, my starlight! A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I'll deliver your feelings. I'm sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you! Oh, thank you, stranger! I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. The sweetness of honey on the tongue, with the danger of being stung. It is like love, always a chance of losing. Oh, starlight, my starlight! A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Have you given my letter to my beekeeping love? The hive is not far. No. Starlight, starlight. Which of these keepers of the bees fits Gil's poems? Ibi in campo intercept septimo, de luculo electae, en herbis ver tempus siponan, et bibi aquos apater naso. Would you say that you are cow-eyed and willow-limbed? Oh, oh, I suppose. I'm not sure what that means, but it is pretty. Are you composing a poem in my likeness? My mistake. Apologies. Do you consider yourself a man who has features so delicate that God himself must have painted them on with a fine brush? Uh, yes. Uh, forgive my intrusion. <laughs> Would you say that your hair could be described as bracken-colored tresses? I beg your pardon? It matters not. Return to your work. Incomprehensible, <laughs> Ma ad vaso focato, ancan poria me, esatamen fide ver. You've returned. Did you forget something? An admirer of yours asked me to deliver a letter. I know these words. I've kept the brothers of this letter beneath my pillow. 
to finally meet my secret bard. I must go. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. I have kept your letters under my pillow to give me dreams as sweet as your words. Now I know my love is sweet as apples. My starlight! It's as if my heart is to burst with this happiness. My love requited. Now, tell me more of my lashes and how they are like the... Your lashes? Why, they are beautiful. But they are a candle in the brilliance of your hands. So warm and strong in mine. Good for you, Gil. Best of luck to you both. So this that here ether is weird to hear. Back on sight here. Festivities haven't started yet. There is still time to search for Kuna. Bridget is here. Oh, I shall polish my ears in hopes that a word of clarity will slip through them. Fancy a game of all, Og? Each cup 
Ty perárnum si jít, tandy. Eivor, finally tři te chvalit. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I have found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun- Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother! If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it in all, I'll lay it's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunon. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunon if I say yes? Just one trick and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch! And the number of stones you're holding is... three! Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him! There at the chapel... I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You're certainly an odd little bird. Mother says there'll be no one like me in the whole of creation. From the dawn of dust to the end of sorrows. Your mother trusts you, lets you run about on your own. She spends the holiday blessing hermits in old rocks. What fun is that? And your father, Gwyneth. Where is he? Well, it's not to be spoken of. But I was born from the union of my mother with the Horned King of the Forest, Genunos. You're close with Bridget. She's like a big sister. But it's not like I'm going to get to see her much anymore once she leaves with you and Gunnar. How do you spend your days, Gwyneth? Collecting dead things for Mama's spells. I have quite a collection. Birds, mice, um, beetles. And I dance, and I can talk to cats. Uh, I should find Kunan. They're at the church, ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Trick! I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It is important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. Please don't have and go flim. My priority speed depends on Rachib. Please don't have to go flim. My priority speed depends on Rachib. You can guzzle the grog. Prove it. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival ladies in charge wear one. Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. I must find her. I would know more about you, Gwyneth. Mother says... I'm looking for Glowerchester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? 
You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Terrible business. Sounds Poor like some hell. I came as soon as I heard. Tefter is missing. Murdered. By those visiting Danes, no less. It's true what they say. Soulless killers, the lot of them. You harbor a personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building, or, Lord forbid, God himself. Damn kids here keep ruining my offerings in his glory. Offerings? Windows! Do you know the work, the artistry that goes into making a sheet of glass into a martyr? The pretty glass pictures? They do break easily. Yes, they do. Moons of painstaking work shattered by one foul stone sent by pagan ruffians. I'm very sorry for the loss of your work. I must get going. Wait, wait! One last drink before you go. A toast to Elderman Kunan. Or a toast to Sawin. One to the Mary Louis. Do you want to... Uh, glass? If I break the glass window, I can get into the church. Care to test your skill at all? in while you were we're always looking for help so come back anytime have you seen Kunan <laughs> he's gonna be in the wicker man This could come in very handy. These will come in very handy. Yes, this will strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. You wouldn't regret getting this. Yes, this will look very good. It's just your style. Thank you. I always need more of these. I hope to see you again soon. I'm off.
Kunan? Oh, for you, love? I could be. Where is Kunan? Mary Louved! Come dance with me! Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the Marilud! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening! What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. What does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! Geva is waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. <laughs> Poor priests of the coast, half of them murdered in the chapel, the rest taken in chains to some ungodly heathen lands. Right. Ah, the crate. Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Hey, for <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader and an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything... We created together. Everything. You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch. This was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Mothran. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowerchestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernonos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? 
Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Muldren will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Wait for the hound to be chewing on his bone before you start it, right? Key to me. I should not be seen in this area. You know how this ends. Witless, godless, useless.
Mordrin's voice. The gods on this most holiest of times, and we're stuck guarding the door. I'd rather be out here in case the ritual goes sour and we end up as a meal for the gods. Smells like a trap.
Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sellot you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. Without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother?
What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No, we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death. God's blood! You're safe, and the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. should be cautious around here. Time to feed the crows.
I have returned. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. You owe me your prophecy, witch. And I shall give it. You are a great warrior, conqueror of this land, and that of your birth. But at the end of all things, you will find yourself with nothing but your regrets. I... I see. We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Grand. Please don't do it! We can burn something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, <laughs> you will see me again. Father! I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. Friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. 
I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor's yours. Blank, praise the Harvest King! Bloody pagans! Seems the way back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. The gods here are vigilant. Now. <laughs> These sciences go over my head, honestly. <laughs> Like a Callens, does it? <laughs>
Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. What have you got for me today? You like the looks of that one? I can get you that one easy. A keen eye for quality. Nothing else I can do for you? I'll see you later, friend. Be well, my friend. Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. Put that gear to...
Hello there. What do you have today? Have you got a contract? Another day. There will... Solo. Hi, Tabor. Hey, Evo. Wolfgar, so glad to see you. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you sit in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. We'll state your cases and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Guthrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. Guthrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. 
If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. I have much to consider, and should like to hear... Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought... It is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. Alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief. Robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. Do you see? Of course, my Jarl. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Basim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful, introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. 
among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed, but who can say for certain? Indeed. I've been working on some designs. May I see your stores? Finished? I'm up. Until I see you next. Good day, my love. Sigurd. Leave me be. If you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes, for all our pains. Enough for today. I... Don't be a stranger.
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Until next we meet.